Xin chào. Today we're having 7-Eleven in Vietnam. 7-Eleven in Vietnamese is called Bảy Mười Một. So let's have a Bảy Mười Một mặc bằng. Let's go. Em nhớ khi xưa còn thơ, từng em hát hay ca mộng mơ. Nhớ hoài, nhớ hoài tuổi thơ ôi sao thật xinh. Khi bé thơ hay gọi em là cô bé không mơ tình yêu. Ai cha, ai cha bé thơ ôi sao lạ ghê. Này lớn khôn em thật xinh. Look babe, 7-Eleven bánh mì! Wow! From $25,000! Let's go on this 7-Eleven Vietnam tour! That's so cool, I can't wait to see what they have! Let's dee dee go! Dee 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 dee. So this 7-Eleven is quite small from the outside. 7-Elevens are quite rare in Vietnam. It's usually dominated by Circle K. This is the first 7-Eleven we found in Saigon. Wow, look at this. Still small, but a huge selection of stuff. Tiny, but packed full of power. Let's get some drinks. Wait, is there a basket? Can we get a basket? Yeah. Is there a basket? Can we get a basket? Basket, basket, basket. All right, basket ready, let's go. First, we need some drinks. Vietnam is all about coconuts. We get coconuts everywhere, so I want to try out their coconut drinks. Look at this one. It's a coconut drink with ooh, a whole bunch of different fruits, like oranges and peaches. I should try one. All right, I'm going to get this orange one because I've never tried orange and coconut together. This is a kumquat. So in Vietnamese, oh. it's duck. Duck? Duck. Okay. Let's get duck. Yeah. I am going to yeah. get my apple juice. Oh Ringo. My it is Japanese. Japanese apple juice. Ringo. You know what I realized? There's what? a lot of Heineken everywhere yeah. we go in Vietnam. Vietnamese like love everywhere. their Heineken. Vietnam is all about that cafe. So let's get some cafe sữa, which is Vietnamese milk coffee. This one is quite delicious looking. Done. I'm pretty happy with drinks. Yeah, what about meals? Good. Ooh, what's here? Should we just go for the cup noodles first? Yeah, let's do cup noodles. Okay. Ooh. This one, there's pho. Pho tip bò, which is pho beef. Beef pho. Cong mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Or there's pho bò from Hanoi. Oh, Hanoi. That's where I'm from. Yeah. I'm going to go for pho Hanoi. Hanoi. Yeah, because that's where pho is from. Okay. Hanoi. And that's the, that's the most original style. The rest is kind of just like Shin Ramen and uh, Japanese noodles. We also got these, which is Handy How House. I'm not sure what that is. This is like a two minute Vietnamese noodle. Can we try it? Can we try oh. Wait, what's this flavor though? This pink one? Sour shrimp? No, that's like a Tom Yum. I get this one. This is Bo Tiêu Nam Vang. Okay. Bo Tiêu Nam Yang. So this is... Nam Yang, 5,000. Bo Tiêu Nam Yang is usually with oh. rice noodles with pork and shrimp. But this one is an instant one, <laughs> so we'll try it out. Nice! Let's go to the refrigerated areas. Yeah. How's that sound? Oh yes, fruit drinks, yogurt. What is this? Is this cha? Cha lu? Yeah? yeah? I always eat this with everything, fry it up, have it with rice, amazing stuff. Oh, these little... Oh, it's my favorite! The cow cheese, amazing cheese. You guys have to try it out if you never had it before. What's this? This is congee. Cha tiết bam. Chow. Chow, oh chow, not chow. Chow. Which is a rice porridge. Let's get one. Which one should we get? So well, there's these ones are kind of taken. Look at that. Chicken. Um, chicken. Yes. Done. Here we have their sandwiches. Uh, it seems like everyone has eaten it, but you can't go wrong with the traditional 7-Eleven egg sandwich. Okay. Goes in the basket. What is this? Some sort of fried noodles with an egg and sausage on top. We've got a salad, which we'll just push further away out there. Don't want to uh, <laughs> get that. I think I want some fried rice or something. Ooh. This, what's this? It's a giant piece of chicken with rice and vegetables. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's get that. Over here you got your Milo, you got your melon drinks, other types. What's this? Ooh, some walnut milk. Ooh, five color bean. A lot of bean drinks. This one is a Thai hot pot. Oh my in a god. Pot, which is, well, the selection of rice and cold refrigerated dishes are quite weak. 
how to get this rice pepper rolls yeah yeah so you got your shrimp rice pepper rolls with that delicious sauté nut sauce i think i'm hoping so which onigiri should i get okay you've got your tuna mayo or your fried kimchi tuna mayo babe. tuna mayo tuna okay. tuna here we've got like delicious pastries snacks bread nutella you got your pumpkin babe babe banana pumpkin oh, it's here. i'm gonna have a banana pumpkin okay. i've never had that before you got your croissant your french cuisine mm. um a whole bunch of other stuff too but nothing's looking amazing yes nest cafe cafe suda awesome whole bunch of coffee vietnamese love their coffee snack section Fritos, your American standard type of chips, Doritos, uh, the Korean ones, like the honey butter ones, these are awesome. Are there Vietnamese snacks though? Let's see what they have. <laughs> Let's go. I want something like, oh, here we go. This is like a fish snack. So it's like those ones from Singapore. Oh, yeah. Tom. Ga? I don't. Let's just try it. So this is fish skin. Yeah, fish skin. With um, salt. What's this flavor? Is that egg? This is egg salt. So yep. this is salted egg. This is spicy. Let's get egg salt. A few other snacks over here. Oishi, Indo chips, tomato chips. Nothing too crazy or exciting. I think I'll pass. You got your nuts. My favorite, uh, no, my dad's favorite section. I really like this back office room here. Reminds me of a butcher with this plastic thing. <laughs> cool. This area is, um, more international goodies, sweets, chocolates. If I find something that is exclusive to Vietnam, I would definitely get it. You got some popping candy, very 1990s. All right, I'll get this, because it looks interesting. Sweet Rainbow. They're like little gummies, soft, and look delicious. Small selection. It's yeah. a small, so, so, it's very small it's, store. It's very small. Very, very small, small store, for sure. <laughs> Anything interesting, babe? I just found a... Korean purple sweet potato. Oh, chip. oh, that looks fun. Excuse me. Uh, xin lỗi, excuse me. I want to look okay. here. And this is the last aisle, which is your toiletries, brushes. Uh, you can get some underwear just in case you need some. Face masks and also shampoos and whatnot. Really cool. Oh, some sexy stuff over there. Fun. Mouth mask, because it is quite polluted here. A lot of scooters and motorbikes, electronics. Wow. Oh, even balloons and a pump and a Vietnamese poncho. Awesome. Wait, is that Jian Hao from Singapore, maybe? <laughs> Here's their selection of ice cream. I really like these Korean melon ice creams and uh, all these, like the fish one is really nice too, but it's Korean. Let's find that Vietnamese one instead. Oh, I see one already. Here it is, Merino corn. Is that corn, dude? It's a corn ice cream, dude. I have to get that. Oh no, this is their bun me section, but there's nothing here. No 7-Eleven. I want some bun me. Oh look, that's like chicken rice. What's this? Oh, this one looks so good with the eggs and stuff. So they usually sell it in the morning till the afternoon, but it was sold out today because it was really popular. Wow. So they don't have any ingredients left. Maybe next time, guys. <laughs> they also have some hot foods here, like bun bao, which is like a bun. You got cha su bun, quail egg, salted egg buns. The selection seems quite small, but we'll get a few. We'll probably get like the curry one. That's and, custard. Oh, it's a custard. Oh, even better. We'll get one of these for sure. It's those rice cakes that Delaney really likes, and we'll get one of these quail egg salted. This is the one I had yesterday, it was really nice. But, but it's sold out. It's right sold now. out. Here you got some fried foods, like chicken, some hot dogs. Oh my God, let's get some of these, babe. Balalot, yeah, yeah, yeah. balalot. And you should get these as well. What's this, a pate, yeah. pate pastry? Pate sauce. So pate sauce. the pastry and with pork inside. All right, let's get some, awesome. Okay. Oh, look at one of these. Hot water so you can make your noodles here. Here's a nice little area to eat too with the traditional Vietnamese chairs. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we go. 
good off food. Let's go eat it at the hotel. One, two, three, jump. Hello! Welcome to the Vietnam 7-Eleven by Mi Mok Mok Bang! It's getting kind of late right now, so we're going to try to eat as fast as possible. Very excited for this huge variety of Vietnam foods. Where to start, babe? Oh. Where to start? I'm rice. Rice? Rice. Let's do it. Let's do it right with rice. I think first what we've got to say is our Vietnamese skill level, okay? Mm -hmm. Out of 10, Mine would probably be 4.4. 4. I think you're pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm I'd not that good. You're, I'd say you're like a 5 to 6. I would say you're like 8.5. You're pretty good. I'm like a 7. 7. seven maybe 7.5. Yeah. Okay. So we both understand it pretty well. No, no, not me. I'm on the lower level. Oh, I studied okay. with the little kids in the Vietnam Saturday school. <laughs> for the four years in the same grade and failed every time. So Lena is quite good. Her whole family speaks it and yes. she seems to do pretty well. I can't read it. You can read it. I can read. I can't speak it that well, you can speak it. Anyway, let's test me. Yes. Chicken, rice with vegetables is gum, ra, and... Yeah, guy. Không good. <laughs> Look at that guy. So here we have a uh, nice little microwave roast chicken, tomato, cucumbers, and rice. It smells like really Vietnamese. -y. It's like what my grandma oh, was like. Yeah, 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 you're right. It's really uh, that honey, like sweet soy. soy. Yeah. Sweet, soy. sweet soy. You want to have the first one? No, you go. Oh, yeah. All right. yeah. You sure? Yeah. Mmm. It smells so mm. good. You don't understand. Like, I can just smell the chicken and. The aroma is oh, mm, so nice. It's, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I actually had like no expectations for this and it didn't look that great in the box, to be honest. Yeah, it was kind of sad. It looked a bit gloomy, but once it went in the microwave, brined it up. Very soft chicken, nice flavors, mm. sweet, hot, and cafe oh, sudé. Oh, this is what my grandma would make. Right, this type of chicken, we'll eat it with rice and vegetables. Amazing. That mm. is a great way to start this baby mot mokbang. It's not baby mot. It's baby mot. That's what it says. Baby mot. It sounds like seventy one. Oh really? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not good at it. Like I said, guys, Vietnamese weak. Cafe suda strong. Wow. Mm. How's that? This is an amazing cafe suda. If you come to Vietnam. Go to a convenience store and get this. It tastes just like the cafe suda you would buy at a cafe. This is from Highlands Coffee and we see this chain everywhere in mm. Vietnam. Okay, next up I want to try these rice paper rolls. It's a, uh, a go-to when I go to a Vietnamese restaurant. We really love Vietnamese food. We live next to an Asian community full of Vietnamese people and uh, we eat it all the time. Yeah, I mean, we grew up eating Vietnamese food every day. Not me though. Maybe oh. you. Your her grandma is an amazing Vietnamese cook, one of the best Vietnamese chefs I've ever yes. met. Who I can vouch for that, and I'm not gonna even downplay it because she is amazing. She's so good. I usually eat mainly Chinese, kind of an Asian fusion types of foods back at home, mm. like fish, vegetables, a bit of meat. Whereas you have days where it's Monday, it's pho. Tuesday, it's Thursday, I got my days wrong. What is rice paper rolls in Vietnamese? Rice paper rolls is... Gum Chayo. No! <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's Kung. Kung. So this would be Tom Thật Kung. Tom Thật Kung. It seems like a shrimp one with vegetables. Got a little bit of these coming out, sticking out. What kind of sauce is that? Oh, that's that's not a satay sauce that I thought it would be. It's like a bit fish sauce-ish. Mm. It's okay. The, oh no, there is a little bit of pork. Mm. Let me check that out for you. It's mainly vegetables. You got that lemongrass or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. No, I'm pretty sure there's no lemongrass in here. Oh, so really? it must be mint. 
Mint, that's the mint one. Leaf. Yeah, mint, mint. Yeah, that's definitely mint leaves in here. Go for it. It's okay. It's a little bit tough. I think it's been sitting there for a while and that's why it's not that great, but still decent. This, oh, however. Yeah. The rice paper is quite hard, mm. but the inside's good. Have some noodles, babe. Noodles, noodles. Mm. Mm. I'll have my oatmeal nam yang, which is my favorite back at home. I've never had hu deal before until I met Delena. I didn't even know what kind of dish it is. It's a very strange dish. What is it, babe? So, I'll show you. It's mm? mainly the noodles. I'll show you what the noodles is like. <laughs> I'll show you something. Yes, please. <laughs> you should have what too. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. So, it's this type of noodles. It's really thin. I don't think it's my favorite thing to eat, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Out of your Monday to Sunday dishes that your grandma makes, hudil is one of my least favorite. It's usually made with, yeah, prawn, pork, uh, minced meat, but my grandma caters it to my palate, so she makes it with chicken. Because she's very, 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 very picky. Here I've got a bun bao. Let me open this up real quick. Oh yeah. For an instant cup hotel, that's pretty good. I'm liking where this is going. <laughs> this is good. To be honest, some of these foods, while well, I only had one or two, um, is already pretty damn good compared to the stuff out there in Saigon on the the, the dirty streets. That just reminds me, we have to talk about. Um, if you come to Vietnam, you have to be really careful of food poisoning. Yeah, it's very unsanitary, yo. Very unsanitary. All our friends got food poisoning. Yeah. But it, that's another story. We'll talk, we'll, about, we'll talk later. about that later. Yeah. Here we've got my bun. It's a salted egg with pork and also a little quail egg on this one too. Let's try it out. Mmm. Can I eat the skin, please? Mmm, yeah. Yummy. Mm. Let's try the salted egg part. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum, 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 I like it, I like it. And then I just need to put that piece of chicken in. Ooh. Mmm, <laughs> that's pretty damn good. Yeah. That is pretty good. Very herby. That MSG flavor. Big explosions mm. of deliciousness. Everyone in our group does have food poisoning. Very high levels. So any people who have survived are uh, us too. And Sun Ho, big Sun Ho. I think it's because we previously went to Thailand not too long ago, so our bodies are quite, you know, they're quite, they're quite strong right now. I guess we're used to the bacteria food, probably that floating market that really made yeah, my stomach strong. I think strong. we've trained our stomachs very well. They were just not having a great time, like bam, 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 bam. But we've been pretty good. I'm just blessed that I get to live in Australia and that my parents went through some hard, hard, hardships to that bring us true. here. So thank you, mom and dad. Yeah. We appreciate you. Being here, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Gai mong ba, yu me. Il kong yil. My parents watch my vlogs all the time. They watch every single vlog. Um, they don't understand English that well, but they still support both of us. So yeah. it's really nice. And they always show my relatives and everything. And they're very sweet and supportive. Yeah, they're so awesome. I'm they're very really happy cool. to be back in Vietnam and actually be able to film Vietnam and show them too. So it's really exciting for me. Yeah, and hopefully we can speak some Vietnamese in today's mukbang. Yeah. For example, babe, what is this? Oh my gosh, I actually <laughs> don't know what that is. <laughs> this is like well, a is banana like... leaf rice cake. One of those things that we get in Singapore and a few other countries that we've grown to love. I oh, know, this one's a little bit different. What is it? It's still rice. It's just the way that it's been made. Look at that. Look how squishy that is. That's really squishy. Very gelatinous. Yeah. Oh, what is it called again? It's uh, like a pyramid. Do you know what it's called in Vietnamese? It's called Kong Biet. As in, that means I don't know. It's, um, not, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm just, it's gonna be stuck in my head. What is it? That was amazing. The rice has been like beaten up into like a jelly and it's a pyramid of meat inside and the top there was a quail egg so when i bit into it i got a quail egg a bit of meat it's freaking awesome this is the best vietnamese people comment down below what it's called Try. please 
I took out the meat. Oh my god, it's so squishy. <laughs> This is so it's squishy! It's so squishy, you don't understand. How squishy it is. Mmm! Oh, this is my, my favorite thing That's actually really good. It's a bit too squishy mm. for me. I know what you mean. It just tastes like a hot, well, like a warm rice jelly with meat. Oh, I love it. So this trip, we've been traveling with a group of friends. We decided to change it up and we're just having fun. We're not focusing too much on food or reviews. We're just hanging with our friends, being tourists and having a great time. Mm. What are your first impressions of Vietnam, babe? Well, I've been here quite often. Oh, really? And I used to go every year with my family because we have relatives here back in Vietnam. But this time back, um, it's definitely more developed. Mm, it's a really? lot nicer than it was 10 years ago. Wow. So yeah, I love coming back to Vietnam every time. The first time I went to Vietnam was two years ago. We went together and the first thing I drank was sugar cane drink from a grandma on the side of the street and the ice killed me. It destroyed me. I got food poisoning and I was out for the whole entire trip. I think eight to 10 days. I couldn't eat. I couldn't hold in whatever was going on in my belly. If you've never been to a third world country, don't just have ice with your drinks, just drink it without it, even though it's not that cool because they just use tap water from the streets or whatever they do. Mm. And there's a lot of bacteria and it will kill you. It does a lot of damage. But my first impressions of Vietnam this time around, it is a little bit, you know, nicer. Mm. No, the first day we went to Saigon and I gotta say Saigon is, I'm not vibing with it that much because Saigon is just way too hectic. There are a lot of like scary people. It's a bit intense. I mean, the second night we were here, we went clubbing and at 3 a.m. when we left, I was just eating pho on the side of the street and I saw a tourist holding her phone with her daughter and her husband and looking for where the hotel was at, um, at that time. And a scooter drove by, picked up the phone, drove off with it and she was screaming, running after it. And I was like, oh my God, my parents tell me to watch out for this and all the stories and lecture me all the time, but I thought it wasn't real and I saw it happen. It's real guys, be careful yeah, here. Be really careful when you come here. They steal your shit, man. They don't care, they make some money off that. Oh, I know you need to look at your GPS to get around, but hold on to it tight. Don't just aimlessly walk on the side of the street where the cars are. Mm -hmm. Pickpocketers, a lot of them were walking down this, uh, a busy road with a lot of people. They'd be touching my my pockets and I'll be like, who's oh, this trying to touch my willy? And it's just like some guy who's yeah. trying to steal my wallet. Welcome to the third world, baby. Anyway, here's the uh, egg sandwich, a signature 7-Eleven. Let's go, egg sandwich. <laughs> Singapore, the egg sandwich wasn't that great, I remember. Oh. A few other places were average. Mm. This one, pretty damn good. Not as good as Japan, but still very creamy, very flavorful, and a lot of egg. Em muốn ăn mà đi. Tôi cho cái này là trứng với bánh mì, bánh mì trứng. I well, my Vietnamese is terrible. I xin uh, lỗi everyone, all the uncles and aunties out there. I am sorry, my Vietnamese is very weak. I'm um, just uh, I never studied it. I was lazy, and when my parents took me to school, I just didn't listen. <laughs> Just like most of my school years. Phở bò from Hanoi. So Which Delana, where from? yeah, where are you from, babe? I'm from the south, mm. Ho Chi Minh, Saigon. And I'm a commie. <laughs> my parents were from the north. Well, my dad was at least because mom's Chinese. I feel like we should talk about our backgrounds because not a lot of people know. Yeah, so um, yeah. the difference is north and south. Uh, we have different accents. When I say vegetables, I, it's like a Z. So it's like yeah. Zhao. And I Zhang Wai. Yao Gai. Yao. Hers is more. Yao Wai. Yang Wai. So more of a Y. Yeah. But mine's more of a Z. So that's the accent different. Yeah. I know there's another difference with uh, Hue, which is mm. in the middle. Yeah. And theirs is really, sounds really funny. Here is the fur. It's been sitting out for a little bit and soaking it up in the water. So it is uh, not the greatest consistency, but I'll try it anyway. Mm, that's a big slap. I'm so mm. happy so mm. far with all the food. Pretty good. Hanoi is where pho originated from, I think. Really? Yeah, I think I read that from Wikipedia, oh. but I could be wrong. This is not too bad. Very flavorful. Uh, pho is all about the broth 
and they do this pretty well when it, in a cup not too bad both of my parents are from vietnam so mm. i'm full vietnamese but i was born in australia we were both born in australia yeah i can speak a little bit not super fluent but i can understand pretty well and i can read a little bit and write a little bit i can just listen but even then i have trouble like when your parents and your grandma talks to me i'm like oh. Like I don't really don't understand because my Vietnamese is more like a Viet English. My parents do uh, speak a lot of Vietnamese, but then they'll also speak English just to help me out because I don't know a lot of the words. But your parents are better at English than my parents. Oh, right. Okay. So maybe that has to do with that. My mom is from Chinia, mm. but my dad's from Vietnamese. So he's half Vietnamese, half Chinese. Yeah. And my dad met my mom in Hong Kong during the war and my mom was just migrating as well and they got married and then I became the hybrid Vietnamese Chinese this is called like I get it from the Chinese festivals it's like pork so they're no it's beef it's beef it's beef so they're betel betel leaves, um, betel leaves. with beef inside but also known as uh, look luck no Bao look look Bò la lok. Bò la lok. What does lao lok mean? I know so, bò is beef. What is yeah, lao lok? But it's just like what it is called. What is lao lok? I don't know. Okay, just as silly and dumb as me. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. You're really good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. It's like a green leaf around beef, and it's very oily. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this Vietnamese dish. I don't really, I don't really love it. It has like a funky aftertaste for me. I've never really enjoyed it, but oh it's decent. It tastes exactly like voila. Well, well. It tastes just like beef wrapped in a marinated like vegetable, the leaf thing. Yeah. yeah. A bit of a veggie veggie. We should talk about some of our friends. We have yeah. eight friends. Mm -hmm. Some very close, some that are just uh, good friends. Yes. And some that we don't really like. Uh, Calvin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I like. Kelvin's awesome. I meant Tom. Yeah. Tom, Joe. Yes. They're a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, Lube and Twee, they're a couple. Yes. We have Little Twee yes. and Ty. Yes. They're also a couple. And then you've got Sun and Kelvin. Yeah. They're just trouble. Um, so some of them. How did our group start? Yeah, how did our group start? Can I have some uh, yes. rice porridge, which is jiao? This is what jiao? everyone yeah. eats when you get sick. My mum always would cook me. Jiao with salt and it's disgusting. It's been sitting out for a little while, so it's not the best, but looks pretty good. Chicken on top, very squishy. It smells good too. I apologize, Parage. You are bloody brilliant. Whoa, it smells, it does smell really good. Mmm. It's got like the fried shallots or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got chicken pieces, herbs, and a really mm. nice kind of soy sauce. Oh my, mmm. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I do when she has the flu. I'm just like, she's like, hey, anyone eat more? Because it's just salt and uh, congee. congee. Oh That's freaking bomb. What was I talking about? Oh, our friends. I've known Tom all my life. So that's, yes. uh, that's Tom for you. We have Joe, who is, I've known him for about five, six years, maybe. Five, six years? Really? Longer, I Longer? Yeah. He's Italian and Filipino, so he's got the Pinoy pride, but we always just uh, tease him and just call him Italian, even though he's just like a little bit, I think. <laughs> uh, we have Lubin, who's been my friend most of my life. I've known him since I was in primary school, but then we parted ways during high school, and then we met again in our early 20s. And I honestly, met, we met Twee, Twee is, which is Lubin's yeah. girlfriend. We met her Fiance. through- Fiance. Yeah. Fiance now, you met Twee, through me and you became best friends. Yeah. Which is crazy because when we have double dates, it's like best friend buddy meetups. Yes, it's always a lot of fun. Kelvin, I've known him, I've known Kelvin my whole life. Went to like school together, like everything. We, we're we very close. Um, he's like a brother to me. And also son, he's also like a brother to me. I met him after high school and then we became friends, so Kelvin, Sun, and me are very close. When I started dating John, that's how I that's met them. That's how 
his friends and John met my friends and, and we me, and then we became like yeah we became oh. a family and then and we then have little Twee and, and Ty Thai. who are originally Lubin and Twee's friends, friends yeah. but we met them through them and we've become really awesome friends yeah. too and that's our real family our gang gang and we traveled together and we have fun together it's the best it's the best time traveling with friends is awesome it's different like traveling as a couple or traveling as your uh, with your family traveling with friends is really fun traveling with family is kind of boring for me but what <laughs> oh yeah guys look at this I got a massive bruise here when I got that massage about four days ago. They were pinching my arm and they were stepping on me. That, oh that massage God. place was insane. They do like, they're not even chiropractors, but they pretend they are. And they like knee your spine and crack it. Anyway, this is Handy How How, which is like a two minute noodle, like fry noodles. Let's try this. Talk about the massage. They like step on you. Like I had the girl's body, entire body on my back and I was like, what is going on? What is going on? And then she'll like pull you back. She'll be like, oh, like this. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, like that. This, oh, like this. And I was like, what is happening? And then she'll like crack my neck. And I was like, oh, right. I'm going to die. They gave us like these pieces of paper that says, do you want hard, strong, medium, and on different areas of your body? And I had feet and I crossed it completely out because I'm ticklish. Mm -hmm. And they put like oils on my foot and I was like kicking away from it and they were laughing at me. And I had like, a blindfold on and like cucumbers on my face and I couldn't see what was going on and you can hear the other Vietnamese ladies like laughing and and then she started tickling my foot and I started dying I would burst into laughter ruin everyone's massage and they were just they're pretty much teasing me some of the people here are, are pretty funny and nice and some are very savage, very savage. and evil um, savagery level here is definitely in the eights out of 10, maybe 8.5. They're so like savage it's here. it's worse for us just because we can understand when they swear at us or like oh, talk like behind our weird. backs, we understand. Basically you go to a market, they'll be like, oh, am I that wow? Oh, come here, look at my uh, t-shirt. You're so beautiful. And if you don't buy anything and walk off, they're like, Yeah, I think look we mentioned her. this in the Benton vlog already. Yeah, yeah. she looks like a, a slut or she looks ugly or you're fat. Well, you know, yeah, they're pretty hectic. You know, son's a big guy, mm. all right? And they'll come up to him and be like, poke his belly. Yeah. They'll poke his belly and be like, mmm, And I'm like, what the hell, who does that? But son's a really good sport. He doesn't care about those things. Yeah, he jokes around with it, yeah. but like, come on, still, that's a very uh, in your face, mm. very rude. Um, also, I was filming like this little fruit area, like a little fruit store. And she was like, get away, get away, get out, out of here. And I was like, that's out in like Vietnamese, which means that's out, that's out, that's out, that's out, that's out, that's out, which means why. And she started roasting me. She was swearing at me, like screaming and like telling me to piss off. Grandma, why so scary? They use a lot of like guilt tactics. Mm. Like an auntie would lie on the floor and she looks really dirty and she would have like a little baby. We'll walk past the ask for money. They'll get kids to like come up to you and grab you and be like, oh, you money, please. You know, you'll give them some money and then you walk, uh, you know, 20 more meters and there'll be another one identical to the previous one. And it just keeps going and going. And it's hard to know who you're supposed to give money to and tips and all that stuff. Oh, it's, it's, it's yeah. insane. But I mean, Taro. When you can give, then give. Because. Either way, they're still not as privileged as we are. You know? Yeah, we live in a first world country, very blessed. Uh, every day that I've spent here, I think about it. What if my parents didn't catch that boat all the way to Australia, you know, in terrible conditions, could have died. And uh, we take it for granted sometimes. We just yeah. like, you know what, mom and dad, screw you, man. My like, dad did get caught though. Oh, yeah. and so. My mom and my sister went to Australia first, but then my dad got caught mm. and he had to stay in jail for a few years. Oh my God. So it's really tough. A lot of people die. A lot of people um, get very dehydrated and end up drinking the seawater and get delirious and then, you know, jump off. A lot of people uh, get attacked by pirates in the sea. Mm. It's tough immigrating around and uh, yes. never take it for granted. If you're like one of us. Yes, if your parents are Yeah, I like that. Honestly, you, like, Thank Love them. them. Thank them. They yes. went through some shit to get you here. Don't be a little bee, all right? Anyway, this 
noodle is just average. It's just like any other two minute noodles. And this coconut. Weird ass. Like oh, uh, it would taste like orange juice with a hint of coconut. So I was not feeling that. I've got some dry fish. I got a banana bunker chan and some of these jelly lollies. Let's try some. For Vietnam, overall, it's been quite a fun experience because we're with friends. Yeah. It gives a little different feel to the vlogs, which is what I like. And we have a fat crew. We have like you like mini side crews on this within our group. We have the fat crew, which consists of me, Delena, Sun, Kelvin. And Joe and Tom are kind of in it, but not really. Son, Kelvin, and Delana, they always fight about who's the biggest fatty in the We're fat like crew. We're like siblings. Like, it's three insane. Of us are like siblings. We're always constantly just bicker about like who eats more or like who eats less or like you didn't eat this, you didn't eat that. I've never actually heard you three fight about anything real. It's always just an argument about food and who can eat more. <laughs> like they'll always fight at a restaurant. Like they'll always call each other out because their rankings they're always top three and they want to be first mm. i'm fourth in the fat crew i'm always fourth in the fat crew so I i'm happy at my where we my position love is eating a lot. this yeah. banana bum kitchen is just average it's quite tough but it does taste like banana oh who did oh my god basically delane is on the phone with the um reception yeah. because this hotel gives you free massages one a day you can book it for your room or at the spa room and they give you an hour of just massages. How cool is that? I've never been to a hotel that gives you free massages every day. The other hotel we were at, which was Fusion Suites, which is where we're staying now, but in Da Nang, they had all day breakfast service. You could order anywhere you were. If you're in the pool, in your room, in the sauna, you could order an all day breakfast and eat stuff, so. Oh, I'm so full. And again. Oi, no agua. Anyo agua. Bok sap. Jet oi. Bây giờ mình mình nói tiếng Việt thôi. Oh. Cho cái người Việt Nam xem được YouTube. Okay. Em. Ăn. Mày mày mày. No mày. Mày is very is ba ba I, I win. No, I speak Vietnamese last say time. I was... Say Vietnamese. Go. À um, bây giờ mm. mình ăn ký Sushi. Oh. Onigiri. Gom. Nó là ký à, cá ở trong. Mm. Tuna. Yeah. Mayo. Mm. Ok. Em đẹp quá. Cảm ơn anh. Why you so đẹp? Tại em ăn nhiều. Mm. Không. Are you a tongue mập? Or oh, only I can be tongue mập. You a tongue mập. I'm tongue mập. Em mập. Yeah. I'm done. I can't speak any more Vietnamese. That was legit my whole vocabulary. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> it's okay. Average. Oh, uh, the rice is quite hard. Wouldn't recommend onigiri here. Can we talk about what happened today since it's still fresh, even though I've addressed it in the previous vlog when we took the taxi? Wait, let me try this chip real quick. Mmm. Oh, oh spishy. <laughs> so good! Oh, it smells exactly like the the one in Singapore. Mm. Oh, so strong. All it right. smells exactly like mm. fish. Anyway, where was I? All right, the taxi drivers. Very crazy experience today. Went into the taxi. Uh, we were at the back of the seat. It was a seven seater, so there was three rows, the front, the middle, and then the back. We were just in the back, just chilling, having fun, filming stuff. When we finally got to our destination, which was only a few minutes, about seven or to 10 minutes of a, um, of a taxi ride, which should only cost about 50 to 60,000 dong, $4 AUD. I looked at the meter and it was 240,000 dong. And I was like, what is going on? And they were telling us, the guys were telling us that there was, uh, it was just jumping up so high. It was 30,000 dong. Then all of a sudden it hit 60,000, then 120,000. So he was doing something. He was like tampering with the meter and trying to scam us. The angry Viet came out of me and I just started speaking in Vietnamese and yelling at him like, why? Why is it so expensive? And then he realized that we're Vietnamese people and that you cannot scam Vietnamese. I started to film him and he immediately turned off the meter, erased it all, and then started asking for, oh, okay, just a hundred thousand, just a hundred thousand, hey, hey. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not having it. You can't scam us. We've been to so many countries, Asian countries, I will not be scammed. So we started yelling at him and he tried to whack me 
try to hit my camera away. You're a very dodgy man. So you have to be careful when you're taking taxis. The best taxis to take are the green ones, yep. which is the, what is it called? Um, they're just all green. I don't remember oh, okay. what it's called. And then there's a Vinasan one. Yeah, Vinasan like one. a white one that says Vinasan on it. Mm. So, so yeah, just be careful. Be very careful. Especially if you don't know the language, like they'll know and then they'll try to scam you for sure. Mm, yeah. Just like when we went to Bentan Market. I know Bentan Market is a tourist trap, so you have to be careful when you go there. Mm. Bargain, or else just go to have a look and not buy anything because there's cheaper markets um, around Vietnam. But we wanted to just try out the food, you know, and like film it for you guys as well. And we ended up going to this snail shop and then we all sat down and we haven't ordered anything yet. And then- the They already lady, started cooking. Yeah, started cooking and then brought out <laughs> all these dishes for us. Like at first it was like one dish each. And they were like, oh, okay, we'll just like try one and mm. um, that's it. Like just try one and see how it goes. It was 12 by the end of it. Like so many extra plates and we're like, we didn't order any of this. And, and we then, didn't even know the prices of yeah. these dishes. They just put some crazy ass price. We ended up having to pay like the in the hundreds. That could get you a five star meal here at a fancy yeah. hotel. And we spent that much there. So the aunties there were having a great yeah. payday, but you know. They got us. In the end, it was only like $20, $30 per person, yeah. but because but we had still, a 10 or It's still very people. expensive, like 20 to 30 AUD per person eating at a market. You can find food for two to $5 at mm. a market. So just be careful. This is a sweet rainbow jelly and it is quite interesting. And it looks like a, uh, a little sandwich. Very sweet and delicious. I like it. Mm. Is that all the food? I know, I was like, oh, I should have bought myself a packet of chips, but I don't have anything to munch on. <laughs> Listen, I'm not even the biggest fan of Vietnamese food. When I'm in Australia, I tend to eat something else only because I'm Vietnamese. I've had it all my life. Here is just, it feels like a lower quality version of Vietnamese food we get back at home. We have all the same dishes, well, mainly most of them. Just the produce is a lot yeah. weaker, dirtier, not as tasty here. That's true. So for example, gum dum, it's the, the pork is very dry, not that tasty, but back at home, it's juicy, it's oily. The pigs in Australia are fat, they eat a lot of food oh. and that makes the dish so much better. Well, I love Vietnamese food. I love, love Vietnamese food. Like I said, I've been blessed with having my grandma cook for me my whole entire life. Mm. And you know, when we're at home, like I'd rather go to my parents, to my grandma's to eat rather than a restaurant. Like that's how good it is to me. So coming back to Vietnam, the standards weren't as high. Maybe we haven't been to the right places or maybe that's just the standard food I, here, but yeah, I average think overall. We know meat. what mm. Vietnamese food tastes like and we know like what's good and what we're used to, like our palates are used to as well. So when we came here, it's totally different. But that is true. it's still good. I still enjoy the food here. It's not bad. Yeah, and Vietnamese, Vietnamese people, Vietnamese people, yeah. Vietnamese people love beeping here. They'll beep all the time. A beep for them is like a hello or something. There's just non-stop beeping. They'll just beep like, if you're not even close to the road, they'll still beep you. It's just beep, beep, beep. No, oh my God, out of control. It's like no traffic lights. People don't even use a traffic lights. They just drive anywhere they want. They can drive in the wrong direction. Yeah. Try crossing the road. I'm sure like everyone knows, like they've seen it on like the internet. Yeah, you, know? you cross like, the you road. Cross the road there's, no, uh, there's no lights for crossing roads. You just have to go. Yeah. You just have to dodge. Good thing about Vietnam, it's very cheap. Everything is extremely yeah, cheap. That's true. Meals are like two dollars. We haven't spent that much money. I know. I mean, for the both of us, how much have we spent? How like long have we less been than here? a thousand, and yeah. we've been here for ten days or something. Yeah, exactly. eight, eight days. I don't know. So yeah, if you go to Vietnam, you don't need a lot of spending money. We just have to pay for food, which is so cheap, and also partying when we like get alcohol and stuff. But if you don't party or drink. You just have to pay for food. Yeah. Plus accommodation is so cheap here as well. So. Yeah, I mean, our friends booked a hotel randomly because they just wanted four hours rest and it was like 28 bucks AUD. So like, yeah. that's it, it's so cheap. Da Nang was really nice. I, I highly recommend Da Nang because it's like nicer people, less dangerous, really nice food as well. So yes. if you want to go to Vietnam, make sure you check out Da Nang. We've been to Nha Trang, we've been to Hanoi. Vietnam is huge and there's many cities to visit. So just do your research. In Vietnam appeals to you after watching these vlogs make sure you guys check it out and guys that ends the bay mùi mọt 7-eleven mặc bằng bà 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 bà
I love you, please subscribe. Um, there's a lot of fans here, actually. Uh, let me say that oh, real quick. Yes. A lot of old school My Chani fans who used to watch me, which yeah. surprised me so much. A, a whole bunch of them. Yeah. It was very nice meeting you guys. I love you. Make sure you guys check out the vlogs because I know a lot of you don't know about it. Anyway. Yeah. But let me squeeze something else in. Okay. If you see Is us, it? you know, around on the streets or something, don't be scared to say hi. You know, we're very friendly people and I honestly love meeting you guys in real life. So say hi, you know, we'll have a small chat about like Japan, Vietnam, Korea, any country we've been to. I love it when you guys say, oh, you know, your video has helped us so much and it means a lot to me, a lot to you, a lot to us. And I really, really appreciate it. And thank you My so stuff. much. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice, babe. My stomach feels funny now. Oh, really? A little bit. Just a little okay. bit. I'm so lucky that I've had no stomach issues at all this trip. Oh! So, yeah. Gong! Gong in the bum hole! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Go to the toilet. All right, I'm going. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching on Mukbang. Hope you guys enjoyed eating with us. We love you all. Bye. I forgot about this corn ice cream, so I eat it by myself. What the hell is that? Eee! What was it? It was like white chocolate around it, and then it tastes like corn juice. <laughs> Try it out. Okay, bye!